You join me with a brand new external hard drive from Seagate. And this is a 5 terabyte model, 2.5 inch. Standard USB 3.1 that I've just taken out of the box. So it's brand new. And in this video, I'm going to show you a cool trick on how you can get a cheap 2.5 inch internal hard drive. As you see here, these normally sell for 4,000 Rand. But the external ones are less than half of that. And the speed you get with them is not too bad. Not as fast as the internal ones. Well, here's a real test, so you get it. But in actual fact, these external hard drives are just internal ones, as you see there. So now you get to enjoy watching me avoiding the warranty on this brand new hard drive. At the end, pay close attention to where the clips are inside this top casing. Um, it's probably best not to come in from the side, but rather from the a top angle, um, because I managed to break all the clips of top casing. Most of them are just ruined. But. I did score a nice internal 2.5 inch hard drive and there it is. Now in newer smaller ITX builds which I prefer building um, most of these cases only accept this size of hard drive so that limits your options. Um, just remove those little rubber grommets there that's on the screws for bump protection and then carefully peel off this um, aluminium foil um, first the one side and then move over to the other side and what you will find is that this is a standard SATA drive with just a small um, USB to SATA bridge that's that green little PCB there now not all external hard drives are like this I am aware of some models where the USB controller is integrated into that controller at the bottom but this is a neat trick you can try with Seagate drives and I do advise that you keep the casing for whatever reasons in most cases, I tend to take the drive out of the computer when I upgrade again and then put it right back in this case and use it as an external drive. So yeah, cool trick there for you.